Welcome back to Karen Go Burr, the unrivaled hub of outrageous Karen escapades. Today's journey kicks off with a dude unleashing his inner Karen at a golf course, aiming for the lead in Karen the movie. Brace for a meltdown saga within a same-sex couple dynamic, a scriptless soap opera of chaos. Watch an entitled squad showcase their arrogance at Epcot, setting the stage for an Epcot-sized disaster. And in a jaw-dropping scene, a woman taking matters into her own hands when a Karen attempts a fast one. Our grand finale features a Black Friday twist, witness a Karen attacking a black woman, leading to a bloody showdown. Fasten your seatbelts, this is Karen Go Burr. Alright, buckle up folks, here's a dude unleashing his inner Karen at a golf course, like he's auditioning for the lead role in Karen, the movie. We got a Karen on the golf course right now. I'm gonna take your clubs! This is my no. I'm not getting a fight at a golf course. Then leave. Golf course. I'm gonna stand here and you can complain. Goodbye. I'm not complaining. You're the one. Boo. No. You oh, boo. Approach me and I ask you no longer no. speak. You boo. Her ball. Please don't speak to me. We're coming over here. You, you took her ball. Bro, you took her ball. I'm not gonna fight you over a fight. If you need money for a golf ball. I'm going to, Walter. Because I'll plant you, boo. boy. Now get the boo. the cart. Walter. 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 Hold on to your golf clubs tight and witness him summoning the Karen energy, fending off anti-Karens with the flair of a superhero. Seriously, Marvel needs to take notes. Oh, here we go. You see that? Oh. That's what you look to into heaven. Ooh. Do you want to test God? You Ooh. come get it. Ooh. Stack okay, he's mentally ill. Oh. Let's move along. You think I'm mentally ill? Yes, I know you. Ooh. Bend to heaven. Hey, hey, come on. Hey, 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 To him, it might be an anime revelation. To us, it's a crybaby symphony. But guess what? It worked. That's a plot twist even Hollywood couldn't dream up. Now shift gears to an entitled squad of big kids flaunting their arrogance at Epcot. It's like the happiest place on earth just got a dose of a Karen virus. Cut on the wall. Cut on the wall. Were you guys walking slow? We're all going to the same place. You'll give a. Is that, an, is that supposed to be an insult? I don't give a. Shouldn't have said. Mind your business. You shouldn't have cut everyone. Mind your business. They did it. Our group. When you get up, they cut on the wall. Ooh. So then. Ooh. Ooh. You're a nerd, bro. I'll never let nobody disrespect my girl. Ooh. Okay. I don't disrespect you. You're a bitch. I play football at the University of Central Florida. So. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God. What are you gonna say? I'm not mad. Watch them slither away when Dad steps in. Their ego is more fragile than a soap bubble. Yeah, true. You're right. Record this. Yeah, record me, homie. What you want? You want my name? Social Security? What you want? Am I I, you want I make I money, homie. I'm a businessman. But actually, I, I'd like to know the family that you cut in front of all of us to be with. Oh, really? Because I was here. Uh, they cut on the. Ooh, ooh. 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 Come on. Come on. Ooh. Get a two for two. Let's do it. Oh my god, what does he look like? Try to pull up my phone real quick. I know, right? yes. Ooh. What's your at? What's your at? Ooh. What's your at? They'll add you. Ooh. What's your at? I got clout. So what's I don't, your I don't know what that means. What's your at? What's your Snapchat? What's the Snapchat? Oh, okay. You're here. What are you recording me for? You watch me on Saturdays. You and your family tailgate outside of my stadium. Bro, don't Ooh. shoot them, bro. Ooh. Looks like Harry Potter. Hey, what is this? What is this? What is this? You guys. They were up front of everybody. They're trying to say we're skipping because we walked up to our girl. Yeah, he's recording you, boss. You're violating my privacy. I hope they're getting kicked off. These folks could ruin a meditation session. Can't wait for the universe to serve them a slice of humble pie. Bon appetit. Get ready for the next act. A loud Karen at Duncan drive through sporting an accent that makes her sound like the queen of the countryside. Enjoy the twang, y'all. was the one that was taking my order? She was, but you're yelling and I hear it and the customer was hearing All right, let me tell you something, okay? First of all, when I was talking low, you guys could not understand the gaga word that I was saying. And then when I'm yelling and uh, screaming, y'all are saying that I'm yelling. No, I was just talking loud. Where is the manager? Yeah. Del, 
Who the hell is supervising y'all? Okay, you're the supervisor. Where? Why? Where does it say on your badge that you're the supervisor? There's no supervisor. They tell me to run the floor, and I do that. You're running the floor. That accent and volume combo, it's like trying to argue with a hurricane. Impossible, and honestly, not even worth it. Speaking, you were speaking with me. After you were yelling at her, I had to go over and I tried talking to you, trying to hear you and understand. I don't understand why you guys say that I'm screaming. Okay. It's not my problem that your speakers are broken. Just for that, I'm not giving you guys my business because I was going to order 50 Ooh. lattes. That's your Ooh. business right there. You're not getting my business. And there she goes, exiting the stage with a mic drop. Enough said, and good riddance to the auditory assault. Prepare for the next spectacle, a meltdown from the depths of a same-sex couple dynamic. It's like a soap opera, but with less script and more chaos. Hey, Cousin, you're not going to make the fight and to see your girls. I'm good, Chef. Remember your girls. I'm good, Chef. You don't, you don't care about the girls? Ooh. Hello, everybody. Dustin. American Airlines. Ooh. Sober. Sorry. Here we go, Dustin. Here, I'm not kidding. Don't. You don't care about the girls? So I want to tell you about Shelby and Dolly. Shelby and Dolly. No warnings or partner assertions seem to put the brakes on this volcanic eruption of frustration. It's like a Shakespearean tragedy, but with more expletives. Shelby and Dolly, remember I'm gonna me. Do it. I'm gonna do it for you. Shelby and Dolly. That's it. Shelby and Dolly, remember. Ooh, ooh. Remember them. Shelby and Dolly, remember them. Really, really, look, look, I have a paper doll. Ooh! Stop! Ooh! Ooh! Stop! Line me up! Line me up! Come on, guys, line me up! I just... We'd pay top dollar for a front row seat to witness more of this guy's outrage. There's something hilariously captivating about his meltdown, isn't there? Next up, we have the Grand Dame of Entitlement at a Washington supermarket, demanding everyone clear the aisle as if she's auditioning for Karen's Got Talent. I know. <laughs> Looks like she got an overdose while reading the grocery store gospel. She doesn't want anybody on the aisle until she can get what she wants and leave the aisle. Jesus Christ! So she's rebuking everyone that enters the aisle. In the name of the Lord, we present this divine comedy where the chosen ones, aka other shoppers, must wait until her shopping charade is complete. Seriously, where do they find these aisle divas? Hold on to your seats for the next drama. A dude having a verbal showdown with cops, as if he's auditioning for the role of cop whisperer. I'm not suspected of a crime, I don't need to produce my ID. Actually, you do, because we got a video. Actually, so we have a legal that's warning. not the law. Okay. I'm recording, just so you know. Okay, that's totally fine. Okay. I'm explaining to you. Okay, we have a lot of thefts out here. Uh -huh. Do we you see anything around here to be stolen? Okay, yes. I'm parked on a public road. Okay. Pro public okay. roadway. I'm explaining to that's you. Also, pu parked on a public roadway. We have a legal roadway. lawful right to contact you and obtain your information. If I'm suspected of a crime, and you have to Ooh. reasonably articulate it to me, to too. Firm, you're not so what crime do you suspect me of committing? For suspicious activity, okay? And what crime is that? Is that a, is that a felony okay. or a misdemeanor, being suspicious? Okay, it is activity that could is intended to discover if you are in the process of committing a felony or a misdemeanor. <laughs> no, that's, that's a, no, no, no. I'll if, tell you what. If I'm suspected so, of a felony or a misdemeanor. Let, let me explain something to you real quick. He could have just handed over his ID, then they'd probably let him go. Basic cooperation, right? But no, he's on a one-man mission against reason. That's considering obstructing us from performing our job. That's actually, obstruction that's is a physical thing. act. And then, no, it is not. It actually, it actually okay. is. So if you continue down this road, we're going to place you in handcuffs here in just a second. <laughs> Hold on. For resisting, obstructing a peace officer and delaying our investigation. 
Re I'm... resisting that's a secondary offense okay that's no, if i'm being placed not. under arrest it's all part of 148 it might be am i being detained right now yes you know what we're all done put them in handcuffs i'm done put your hands on your back hey if, you know, don't don't handcuffs. please don't touch me put your please hands don't touch me this is your hands behind hey, your back we, this is an arbitrary not, arrest i'm not going to use relax, force okay? this relax, is an arbitrary relax, arrest relax. okay you, you, and you, if that's the case i am sitting handcuffed <clears throat> in a vista sheriff's truck because a neighbor called the cops for a suspicious vehicle when I asked what I was being detained for. Is that a felony or a misdemeanor? Entitlement and blame gaming so deeply ingrained that he forgot cooperation is the secret code to avoiding a cinematic facepalm. Get ready for the queen of clapbacks in our next act. A woman taking matters into her own hands when a Karen tries to pull a fast one. It's like watching the heroine of Karen Busters. Get the front of my car and then pull off. Is you out of your mind? Pull back in. Like, you are tripping. Can I just get your information? Ooh, ooh. Up and give me your information. How about that, you stupid? Ooh, ooh. Give me your information. There give me your information. Give me your information. What would you Let like? me get your tag in the back, too. You out your damn mind. You out your... Ooh. I'm trying to be nice to you. I'm really trying to be nice to you. Just give me your stuff. That's all I asked you for. You want my cell phone? Give me your stuff. Your cell phone number? Your insurance card? Give me your stuff. You out your mind. That smirk. It's the universal you mess with the wrong one grin. Or maybe things just spiraled out of Karen's control. We need the sequel scoop. Anyone got the 411 on what happened when the cops swooped in? You don't just try to pull off on me and, and stick your middle finger up? Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, what's a hurry? hurry up. It's a hurry because like, Ooh. dude. And you thought you was going to pull up on my Ooh. show and go pull up on and pull up. That's I said, what didn't you understand about that? You was just gonna pull off. Give me your stuff. You wasting my time. Give me your stuff. Call the police. Give me your stuff. Call the police. That's fine. That's fine. Drop those story leads in the comments, detectives. Up next, a recorder holding his ground like a rock in a storm. Uh huh. Can I help you? No, I'm okay. good. Well, you were videoing me, and so I don't approve any of your information for anything to be posted anywhere. Do you understand? Uh, I don't need your approval. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. Okay. No. So, See you later. All right. Go ahead. Go home. So, you off work now? Yeah, I technically am. Thank you very much. Cool. Yeah, I don't need your approval. Thank you very much, yeah, you though. You do if you're recording me, sir. Uh, Have ne a good day. Negative. I'm in public. So are you. I wasn't while I was on that ground, sir. I can see you from public, though. That's okay. the way the law works. That's how that works, yeah. sir. All right. You have a fabulous day. You okay? too. You're dismissed. Bye. <laughs> I just got dismissed. But wait, there's more. Watch him dismiss the cop with the grace of a ballerina dodging a clumsy partner. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. How about you? I'm good. I saw the camera stuff that you're out here filming, so we're just making sure everything's cool. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Nope. Got your ID on you? Uh, you have to give me your name and badge number, sir. Oh, it's well, in your policy. On, let, let me talk real quick. Do uh, you have ID on you? I'm ask, identify yourself to me first. Okay, I am I'm a Officer private Michelle, citizen. Uh, well, if you're going to talk okay, over you're me, a I'm public servant. Talk. I'm just I'm just letting you know. Badge, badge number 1682. Cool. Uh, everything good with you? I'm good. Okay, do you got ID? Uh-huh. Do you have ID? Am I being detained? No. Okay. I'm just asking you a question. Then I don't have ID. Cool. All right. As long, you guys as, you're good, as long as you're good, not running in the lot or anything, we're good. Okay, thank you for your professionalism. I appreciate it. No problem, sir. Exit stage left, with the cop left coiling at the man's unwavering stance. Now that's how you orchestrate an exit, folks. Hold on to your frappuccinos, because our next scene unfolds at Starbucks, with a Karen unleashing her madness. Karen's kid steps in like a peacekeeping hero, trying to control the madness and prevent his mom from etching her name in the Starbucks Hall of Shame. I'm scared of it. 
That kid's future resume, world-class pacifier and negotiator. Sadly, he might also be a professional internalizer. The things we do for Karens. Get ready for a Karen who can't stand workers doing their job around her home. It's like a soap opera titled Karen vs. Utility Workers. Or I'm calling the cops. Call now. Them. Call them, miss. I hate your Ooh. guts. Get the hell off my lands. You close up the box. When the cops get the here, box, if you call them, you you're, get getting, the hell off my you're getting arrested for threatening to shoot me. You realize that, right? You are criminally trespassing on no, my land. No, we're locating underground facilities. With somebody's box that isn't even and that we, company. We recorded you saying that too, so we could use that when the cops got here. So call them. We under we locate underground facilities, miss. This is our job. You're supposed to show ID. I can show you my ID, but you called you show me. Show me ID you now. You called me too many I names. I don't allow criminal trespassing now, on we'll my land. You, you cop, show me ID, I both of you, know, or you are gone. Threatening to shoot and demanding ID, thinking that'll magically resolve her verbal offense. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. Nice try, Karen. Cops, you were rude and you threatened us. Okay? Yeah, you threatened us. With you problem. just get the hell off my land You threatened now. to shoot us. Get the hell off my land. And we'll tell you, and we'll Listen, tell Listen, you move on. Keep I'm going to fix my life in that company. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, miss, but it's not us personally. I'm busy. I don't have time. Call the cops. Call the cops. Trespassing. You won't show ID. Call the cops. The people in this area have the right to see ID of the people on the land. We're way, pa we're way past that. We're way past that now. Karen's walking away from the chaos they brew is a tale as old as time. Classic irresponsibility in action. Our next blockbuster reveals a Dunkin' Donuts employee caught red-handed, snagging a $20 bill from a customer. I'm at Dunkin' Donuts. I came in here with 50 No, I came in here with $72. My daughter had $5. I gave her 7 She lost 2 on the street. So I gave her my extra dollar to get her lunch, have the change right here. I gave a young lady that works here $20. When it comes time to clear my bill out or give me my change, the young lady's telling me I did not give her any money, okay? And I need my change to do stuff with. That is why I came outside specifically with $70. Because I have something that costs 55 I plan on getting. And the rest was going to be my change, my little spending money for the week. I'm a hardworking woman. What? This is a Dunkin' Donuts here. That's their address. Can, that's can, the young lady. Can you give me a second? I can't hear. Yes, that's Thank fine. You. They're trying to rectify it now. I mean, they're trying to go back and look on cameras now. The way I'm trying to understand this. Is this your daughter? Yeah. Okay. She ordered. She placed the order. Mm -hmm. That transaction was done. Change was given back to her. Major props to the woman for standing her ground and pursuing justice. She's a superhero we didn't know we needed. Okay, all right, well that's where the discrepancies come from. Exactly. You're saying that no money ever hit the counter, so. Okay. And now he's coming back. The was free. Yeah, I'm very sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for the, you know. What exactly, sorry, sorry. What exactly, what exactly happened though? Like, why was I just returning my $20 moment, like, Please almost a, a half an hour? Okay, no problem. I'm very sorry. I'm, okay. Whatever you did have, don't worry about it. No, but what I'm saying is, what? Who? It was seen. It was, it's an in-house thing, and I appreciate you, sirs. Thank you for doing the right thing. Thank you. This is the Dunkin' Donuts. They're dealing with it inside, as in she did steal my money, like I said. Okay. This is the Dunkin' Donuts in Kingston, New York, on Broadway. I came in here with $72. The young lady stole my money, tried to say I did not give her any money. And they returned my 20 just to show you that it was said on camera my money was in fact stolen. Although the establishment accepted the theft, the aftermath feels like a plot twist in need of an editor. But hey, swift recovery points for effort. Prepare for a cinematic masterpiece, a Karen thinking she can stroll her dog through her neighbor's yard under the cloak of darkness. We have video surveillance and you've done this over a dozen times and uh, you'd never bring a bag. We've seen you do it here. Four houses down, 700, and I'll, I'll be glad to share the tapes with you. I'm going to share this with everybody in the Cloisters neighborhood because you're so inconsiderate with everyone else out here. Well, and I apologize, sir. I do. You should. That's, that's just disrespectful. And we were thinking it was a hate crime because you've been doing these folks' lawn 
I don't know how many times, and they just moved in here recently, and that would be a black uh, family. Bet she didn't anticipate a well orchestrated confrontation from the man next door. Lies and excuses won't save you now, Karen. It's not your fault, buddy. It's your fault, and that's, that's and not I nice. I apologize. Well, we'd appreciate you not doing it anymore. And I will. I, we, we, I, we know where you live because we're going to deliver it all back to you. We had, we've been doing this, we're looking at you for weeks now. Just so we could... And I'm, I'm recording it because I want to make sure uh, you don't say I said something I didn't say. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that at all. Well, I, th I think it's disgraceful to, to do that to anybody. And I, like I said, all I can do is apologize and that's what I do. And I'm certainly sorry. Okay. I appreciate to get some bags from now on. All right, I will. Thank you. Yeah, just because you're doing it at 4.30 in the morning doesn't give you a right to... Watch a Karen coil like a slinky with a broken spring. Helpless in the face of her deception unraveling. Popcorn, anyone? And now, the grand finale, featuring a Black Friday Karen throwing down harder than the deals they're hunting. Oh, my God. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. I told you not to get it. Uh, ooh. We were secretly hoping for a part two as security swoops in. Stay tuned for the Karen Encore. The drama never ends, folks. Thanks for joining us on this wild ride through Karen Go Burr. From a golf course meltdown to Epcot chaos and a jaw-dropping Black Friday showdown, you've witnessed the Karen saga unfold. Which was your favorite moment? Let us know down in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit the like button, share the Karen mayhem, and subscribe for more epic tales. Until next time, stay tuned for the next chapter of Insanity.